Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie on Alberta Theme City. Welcome back to the channel where last episode we did something different. We did a, like a speed build of two interchanges. One particularly, and the other one was kind of rushed, not gonna lie. Um, uh, and I think it turned out fantastic. I, I really, really, really like the Y interchange that we built, a system interchange. Oh, what a great shot of, the, of uh, this part of town. Um, yeah, was, we, we really need to build a system interchange because we're going to be building a highway into the downtown. Um, oh, look at all these shots of the, of the town today, of uh, Prairie Station. This is awesome. What an intro. <laughs> um, so we needed to build a system interchange because we're going to be uh, developing that area soon. And well, we're going to be able to get a couple connection points to that new highway. The downtown highway, I guess. Um, relatively soon, and I kind of showed off what was going to be like where those interchanges are going to be uh, in the future. So uh, I don't think we're going to get to them today. Maybe I'm not going to say no because there's some pretty fun things I want to do today. Uh, and the reason why we're kind of changing gears is because we have so much residential demand, and I have a small town I want to build in the farm area, a little farm town. And uh, in order to kind of build that town first we need to expand the rail network and the great thing about this map is that it's just so basic and the, like simple and that's what makes it so nice is there's one highway one rail line so we get to plan everything else out and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be planning uh, our future rail line and we'll also get um, perhaps a couple more stations in uh, but I think it's going to be fantastic. It's going at least my, <laughs> that's what, that's what my plan is. I hope it's gonna be fantastic um, uh, But uh, yeah, let's let's hop out and uh, let's go over what the plan is today and what we did yesterday So here's the interchange we did. So it's a system interchange. So it's between two highways uh, or three or four you never know uh, And it's a Y because it kind of makes the shape of a Y uh, And then this highway down here will eventually hit this road here, which is Mackenzie uh, and we'll have a bit of a you know, normal style interchange, something more like, not like a trumpet, but uh, an interchange that is connecting an arterial road. And this highway will probably just go right in and then it will probably become like the main boulevard of the town. So uh, we'll figure that out down the line, but I think sometime really soon, we're gonna get this connection in. Uh, we might get a, a second one in here by the rail line as well, but uh, having this, system interchange be kind of infused together with another interchange. Um, I think it's going to work out really nicely. Uh, this is inspired by the, inter the, th the system interchange between the 416 and 417 in Ottawa, Ontario. So not exactly Alberta, but um, I, I think it works out great. And then this is just a very basic semi Barklow. I don't know. Uh, it works. Um, I think I really wanted to just get an, an interchange in here that, that it's simple, it works, and it allows us to either expand to it or use properly as as it is uh, once we get out this way because, uh, you know, plans for this area of the map are very, very small. or Like, they're not fully thought through at all. So, uh, I think it just gives us a good connection point for, you know, garbage trucks, uh, future farms we're going to have out in this area. And, um, yeah, like this guy over here. Uh, yeah, so let's kind of talk about what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be building a rail line. We're going to be building a rail extension from over here. It's going to go under here. We're going to raise it up and we're going to figure out a, a nice way that's going to look aesthetically pleasing. It's going to work for uh, the town that we're going to be building. And it's going to also kind of match the topography of the map. So we're going to, we're going to bring that rail line probably through here. Whether or not we're going to cut through one of these grid lines, we'll see. And then we'll bring it over and we'll bring it down over here. And I'm not going to do this today, but I'll, I'll, I'll kind of leave it. And then we'll see where we can connect it out of the map. Maybe we can do that part today. Um, if you're thinking about future rail plans, we come over this way. We have a rail line over here. I think at one point we're going to try to sneak a rail underneath the highway so we can access this area. And I think what I'll do is I'll try to get a connection point across here and we'll connect it up to this future rail. So, you know, again, the plans are very minimal at the moment, but uh, we really need to get 
this going and it's been a few minutes so let's dive into it so when we built this rail line over here a long time ago I don't think I actually showed off that I I, uh, I added some flowers you know make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing I also added some shops down over here um, for this residential community that we built we're leaving the space open until we need more high school demands because I'm gonna put a high school in here um, but you notice how the the rail over here is sunken a little bit well that's gonna be really convenient for when we're trying to go underneath the highway here so let's start off today's episode by doing that so pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn anarchy on and just place it through 50 units of rail I'm gonna pause the game here I'm gonna grab all of the rail line with move it and then set it to the same height we had that oh fantastic okay now I'm gonna grab the highway here and pretty simply what I'm going to do is I am going to elevate this portion and might as well do that portion as well um yeah so you know pretty simple little fix let's just you know use move it a little bit to clean it up very good I think that's a bit low so we're gonna have to um take this node and we're gonna say get to that height please and we're gonna need to take both of those nodes and say get to this height please oh I don't think I click this one Am I holding shift Steven I was not holding shift there we go so I think that's probably high enough yeah I think so whoa that is a lot oh wrong thing and let's make sure we're actually on our Alberta brush as well uh, okay that's fantastic so we can cut right through here and then I'm also going to build a connection point uh, into this line oh wait no we can actually cross into the station this way that is good that is very good um, so uh, while we talk about this um, what's gonna be the plan for this area well I think I'm gonna get a factory in here or something like that it's uh, really convenient with the uh, you know its location to the uh, new interchange we built uh, and as a result we might need to build a second station over here for this side of the map because the rail line does really cut through the town uh, we might also need to figure out a way to connect up this road or something across like this but uh, that's for the future all right so now that we're over here we need to get a crossing in so are we going to actually go right across and you know create a bit of a junction here um, or are we going to go under or over well that's a tough one um, I don't think this is gonna be the busiest of areas unless we bring this over and we get a diamond interchange or something over here but see that was a plan that we talked about in the past but now that we have this uh, interchange you know in integrated into our system interchange I'm not necessarily sure we really need that but you know what would be nice is if we were to connect this into a bridge into a future development so this area might we might like bridge it over and then we'll get an interchange something like that over here which you know doesn't cover both sides of the highway but you know with uh, with a lot of interchanges and stuff nearby we might be able to get away with it um, so the reason why I'm saying that is because it'd be really nice if we can connect this rail line right into here right into that node now this is really risky and it might cost us down the line but I think it could make for some pretty cool um, uh, developments so if we do that and then we go straight again let's see how this looks it's pretty cool it's pretty cool I've never done something like this before and let's see if we can actually get the uh, height to be proper though because oh yeah no it's slope okay I guess it's a bit too far that's weird why can't I do that this node cannot be selected because it's not connected with other nodes. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, there we go. 
Now it can. Okay, I see what it was. I wasn't reading it. I was just, I was just kind of thinking I could figure it out myself. Four percent grade. That is way too high. So uh, that tells me that we're going to need to figure out a different solution here. And part of that solution might be because uh, this actually is taller than it needs to be. So if we bring this right over here, I like to use the metal barrier here as a bit of a, a guide for how tall the bridge needs to be. So it's a bit tricky to see because of the lighting, but it looks to me. I can't really zoom in any farther that it is a good height so what I'll do now is we'll start that again but I'm gonna go in this direction now and we only really need it to go to about there 0.7% grade is a totally acceptable grade for a train and then we'll do the same thing right to here 3.3 so again that's not exactly the best outcome so uh, our next kind of bet is to kind of look in here and figure out if maybe we can just maybe perhaps lower the road network and everything like that and I think that's probably what we'll do so I'm gonna grab uh, all of the nodes going in to this intersection and we're just going to lower it a little bit let's say, let's say about there and we can always come back and play with it afterwards but let's go back to our network multi-tool Let's grab that and let's do this. 2.6. That's a lot better. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the... I always forget what the exact grade is supposed to be. Um, for trains, I think it's 2. So please let me know in the comment section down below what it is. So um, I'm just going to play around with it a little bit. But this is the last time I'm going to play with it because uh, I don't want to waste any more time. And honestly... It's the future. It's 2057. I hope that we have better trains at the moment or at the, this uh, period of time. So, yeah, I mean, that works. Um, now let's just realign. Let's just get rid of this. Okay. Uh, let's just realign some of these roads. This road here should actually probably be extended. So why don't we uh, just do that? Bring that out. Okay, and then now we can re-slope them. That's pretty good. And then we can slope this one to over here. Let's see what that does. 1.7, that's pretty good. Uh, why am I selecting that node or a particular node? Well, I just feel like it might be a natural slope line, like a natural area for the slope to occur because I don't know if maybe like I think we're gonna smooth out this whole area make it seem a bit more natural because I don't want to make it just you know have a huge cut everywhere and plus it looks like it slopes over here anyways so I think we can get rid of it on this side but I think I'm gonna try to leave the cut line for the rail yeah that actually smoothed out pretty nicely Okay, so I'm going to try and leave the cut line for the rail on the other side. But if we do this, it's going to actually give us more opportunity to try to bring a road up and connect it on the other side here. Okay, I think that's pretty nice. All right, so let's figure out, um, let's figure out now where we're going to bring this uh, rail. So let's turn on the topography because this really matters when building rail to a um, realistic standard. So we have a nice curve here. I think the next option would probably be to curve either into this point over here again. I think it probably would be. Uh, this slope here is definitely an acceptable grade, but afterwards, hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Let's turn bending off. Um, let's actually redo this part part right here so we're in the node here we just need to go right into this point let's see how that looks yeah so it's gonna really slow down for this curve but I mean it's trains are already going pretty slow because of the intersection here so I think we're fine and then where we're we gonna go from this intersection here this one was a bit riskier of a connection point because um, it is a bridge over here to the town so it means that what we're doing over on this side can't really be too traffic heavy um, because traffic is going to need to cross over on this side. 
Um, okay, let's turn back over here. And it's not like we really could have done a bridge either. Uh, we might have been able to do a bridge. Let's actually try to do that because, let's see, that, that's, that's enough elevation that we might be able to start elevating it just enough to go over the intersection here. And maybe we can say that the town has done this like maybe in the past that connected right here, but then we'll be back towards ground level over on this side. So I think that actually kind of works. So um, let's just redo this plan again. You know, sometimes you just gotta talk it out in your mind. Okay, so right from here, uh, let's go out of this. Let's go elevated, grab this, elevated. And we're just going to line up to about right. I'm just going to try to line it up manually. Let's turn off our guidelines here really quickly. Because I really want to make sure that it's exactly over the intersection. All right. And then let's grab this node. We're going to scooch it over to about right here. I'm going to grab both of them. We're going to raise it up to an acceptable height. That's way too high. Uh, but this one, we need the bridge piece. So there we go. Got them both now. Fantastic. And you know what? This garbage truck, perfectly timed. Let's try to make it a bit more of an ex of a realistic height. I think that's probably fine. Uh, now let's go into our sloping tool with the network multi-tool. And we're going to go right down to the crossing point. And let's see what grade it gives us. Oh, look at that. Look at that, that is fantastic. That's actually fantastic. All right, let's uh, go on from here now. Let's go back to our topographical map. Got node snapping on. Okay, so I think we're gonna just go right across now. Straight line, right through. Yeah, I think that's probably our best bet. And if we just, you know, maybe get past these grid lines, like so. I mean, we could also curve, but I mean, we are, we are elevated. And then maybe we can start following this contour line. Or maybe, I think it would probably be a bit more realistic if we tried to follow the water for a little bit. Okay, well, let's just do the first one, the first crossing. And let's see, are we gonna stay elevated? I think the first, uh, t the first thing we should check is uh, the actual height of it, if we were to maintain the same height as the bridge we previously had. Yeah, so if we were to do that, which I think is something that I would prefer to do, um, it would mean that we would need to bring this node and make it the same height as that node. And what does that give us? That's actually not too bad. Um, I'm moving around a little bit, sorry about that. Um, and what if we were to do a sloping right down into here? That's pretty good. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking. The neighborhood children are running about outside my window. <laughs> Um, with their dog, of course. The kids aren't barking. Uh, that's a bit steep. I think I'm just gonna do a, a quick little touch. We're not gonna redo it, but I think that's probably good. And then let's now continue that at the same height right across. I think this one's gonna be a pretty simple one. Because it looks like we've already kind of, that was a road. Good job, Steven. Uh, here we go, train. Alrighty, and then same thing. Let's grab them both. All of them, and make it the same height as that. That's actually really nice. So a bit, a bit elevated. Um, you know, I'm not too sure how realistic it would be to have it all as an elevated piece. I think we should probably put some of it back down to ground level. Um, and why, why is that, you may ask? 
Well, it's very expensive to maintain a elevated bridge, and it's very easy to maintain a bridge supported by ballast, or a, you know, um, a rail in supported by ballast. I think ballast is the correct term. I think that actually might be like the gravel that is in between rails. So we're gonna just, you know, allow us to kind of do this without really thinking too much of it, because, um, you know, when they build rail lines, they spend a lot of money, especially rail lines at west. Okay, that works. Uh, I think we'll probably try to go back down to ground level over here. We'll leave that part. Okay, let's elevate this part. Okay, and then I think we can leave this whole section elevated. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I think I like this. Uh, maybe this section we go back. Yeah, let's uh, let's try this out. So we'll just go back to the smoothing, and we'll smooth it all out. Yeah, you know, I think this this works. Yeah, I don't mind doing too much. You know, I don't mind doing this in these farm fields because I'm sure that the farmers would probably do something similar themselves. So let's just, you know, level that out a little bit. We'll come back with the smoothing tool, smooth it all back. I think that works pretty nicely. And then over here, we can see how steep that is. No, that one doesn't really work. All right, I think that looks pretty nice. And now I guess we can just build it right to the exit point, I guess, of the, ma the map here. Might as well, might as well not kind of only do half of what we're planning on doing. Okay, so if I were to kind of follow the, these contour lines, there'd be lots of waving, like lots of curving. But I think this is a, a more appropriate exit point over here. Though I don't necessarily mind crossing this little estuary over here. Um, if it's it kind of gives us a more acceptable terrain. Right here, maybe. Let's aim for right here. So that means we would probably follow the, the water right through here and okay that works I think I like that plan
All right, so, you know, it's probably a bit more elevated pieces than I was expecting, but I think overall it's probably good that we did this today. Perhaps if we wanted to maybe not do that, we probably could have curved it a bit farther over and done a bit more waviness, but I think this is a bit of a more natural right of way for the rail line. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think I think it worked out. Let me know what you think about uh, this new rail connection. And now. So, we've built up this area over here. We've done a couple... Oh, something's happening over with this node. We've made a crossing uh, point. Now, this could be an, a difficult issue down the line um, if traffic gets too bad but where there's crossings there are people who use the crossings and there's a reason why this probably existed at some point um, like way back in the past and you know what this is a perfect opportunity to build a bit of a farming town so I was looking at some farming towns in Alberta and Saskatchewan uh, before today's build and I was kind of looking at some things I was trying to figure out like how they kind of look and there's two areas here that I'm thinking we could build the town so I'm thinking we could build the town on in this block I'm thinking we can build the town in this block I'm thinking this one as well so this one I think is a bit more of a realistic option why? Well, I think perhaps the town originally was built up around the rail line here, but like it was just a couple farms, maybe even a, a rail station. But as there was this highway connection that was built up over a little while, and I think it kind of gives us reason to build out in this area. Um, so it's not going to be a big town. Uh, and then it also kind of gives reason why the town thought that it would, or this province, I guess, I uh, thought that it was a really important reason to make sure that this thoroughway uh, remained and, you know, it had a, a highway connection. So perhaps when they built this giant system interchange, they left the original connection points for the on and off ramps from the original highway. So I'm thinking this one here, we might have a couple offshoots because I'm looking at the terrain here. If this was like an original town, I think it would probably have preferred this flatter land. Uh, this one over here, I just don't want to build too too close to the town, the uh, uh, the current town we're building. So I think using this block is probably more appropriate. So uh, first things first, let's upgrade the roads around it. So we're using the, the national highways for this. So I'm gonna go back to the national highways. We have some pretty uh, cool pieces right here. Actually, no, we're using the country roads, sorry. Um, so I think I'm going to actually switch to the city roads because they have uh, better options for us in this situation. So we're going to upgrade uh, this road. Just all the connection points. Give us extra turning lanes. Um, we're going to do that. And we're going to go into node controller. We're going to select that. We're going to square the node off. Very cool. I've never done something like this. This is fun. Uh, okay, so this one kind of goes into a dead end. I'm thinking this is going to be another farm down the line. It just, it just makes sense. Um, so that means I think we might try to squeeze in maybe some, you know, newer developments on this side. Um, this is going to be the old farming town. I think maybe we'll have this be a bit of farming as well although maybe this is the better option for the town it's just that their the terrain is a lot more uh, a lot different no I, I think we'll stick with the, with this and um, yes okay so let's do that uh, first things first is we need to build a bit of a grid off of it so we have two options for the grid we have the option of keeping the grid line with um 
uh, the provincial roads, or we can go off of the rail line. And I think it'll be a little bit fun to go off of the rail line here. So, um, let's see. I think maybe we can probably do a bit of both here. Let's take out these trees. I think maybe we can kind of cross this road here and put the town on both sides. I'll put the trees back. Um, but let's get a nice road about halfway in between. I don't know if that's halfway, but it's going to be close enough. So let's make sure that this connection is right about here. 90 degrees. Connect it in. I hope that node kind of fused together. It looks like it did. And this one's going to connect up into here. Fantastic. Okay, so we have the first connection point. Um, I don't think we're going to go into this side of the tracks. Well, maybe. I think that could be fun. Uh, let's just preemptively take this note out. Okay. Let's continue building this little town here. Um, so this one would have gone on about 45 degrees. Over into here. Let's try to make that as close as possible. All right, so 45. I don't think we're actually gonna connect up over here. Actually, no, let's redo this. Let's find about the halfway point. I think that's about half. Okay. So let's go off of this for the grid. I think we'll get another connection here. And how many squares was that? That was eight. Okay, perfect. So I'm just kind of creating a bunch of interesting connection points. Sorry for slowing my, my chats down. Uh, okay, let's connect up there instead of right here. Yeah, okay. I like this. So over on this side, we're gonna get a train station. Now it's not going to be a uh a passenger train station it's gonna be a cargo train station and i believe i have a little asset here that i downloaded I forget the name of it though no yes this is it. So it's uh, an asset from a pretty cool creator pack. Um, and it kind of acts like a station. Uh, it has the same properties as a train station, but uh, it looks like a green elevator. And I think that was pretty cool. Okay, so let's just do a bit of work over here. Let's, oh, sorry, I thought I wasn't sloping again. Don't want to make that mistake for the 90th time. It's pretty steep. Let's see, which side is a bit calmer? Okay, let's have this the station over on this side. And that means we need to bring it over. So I guess I probably should have seen how large the station was. So it looks like it's about three wide. So we'll probably need to bring a road in from right about here. Let's see if we can kind of snap that onto it. Okay. Got 
got so distracted from building all the rail lines that I, uh, my brain is slowing down. Let's get out of this view. I think that's what's kind of tripping me out a little bit. Uh, okay, so the great elevator is going to be over here. I think it's going to be important for us to build a farm over on this side then, if we have the grain elevator on this side. Uh, so let's do something like that, and let's see how this kind of looks. So I'm going to need to delete both of these, and I'm going to pull this back, and now we're going to need to connect this up. Should I connect it up or should we make it kind of swing off? I think that's probably a better idea to uh, have a, like a, the train have to pull off. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, sorry about that. Let's bring it in and let's do this. Hopefully that's far enough. I think, I think it's not, so I'm going to delete those two connection points. And we're just going to move it again. We're going to swing it all a bit farther down. I don't know how this is going to play. Like, I don't know if it's going to actually have a lot of train traffic use it. Um, or a lot of traffic use it, so I'm a little concerned about that. But I think this theme works out really nicely. Okay. So let's play the game. Let's throw on three speed. Let's see if anything really happens. Okay, and as we do that, we can uh, continue building the town a little bit. So let's see, let's bring this road into about here. Um, and let's bring this one through. Let's bring this one down. Yes. I think this should actually be two lanes through here. Let's upgrade all the roads around this town. To be four lanes. I think that's probably just a safe bet to do. Okay, so people are already using it. I'm a little nervous. And I guess we should just fill in the town with water. Not perfect, but it gets the job done. Alrighty. So it's a pretty basic grid, but I think it it works. Okay, let's leave that open. Let's actually delete this. Um Okay, so if we keep the intersect the main intersections kind of at bay with just the traffic. So it looks like cars are using this here. So I'm, what I'm thinking is perhaps what we do is we make this a one way into here. Because I don't want tra trains to, or I don't want traffic having to like clog up this intersection. So what we do is we make this a one way road. Can I make this an industry road? Is there a one way industry? There is. Okay. So we'll upgrade this one to one way flip it and then we'll have this part be a two-way so we definitely need to upgrade the network on this side let's just do four lanes and the only way yeah I think that should work for now I prefer if it was a dirt road I think that might be fun could make it a rural road though country road let's see how this works Okay. Yeah, I mean, this looks pretty nice. 
Jefferson Grain. So I think what we're gonna do then is let's uh, cause we are coming to the end of the episode here. Um, let's paint an industry area in here. This is going to be oh, whoops. Um, it's gonna be farm again. Just so I remember the name. We're gonna call it Jefferson Farm. Hence the name, so that we keep kind of the theme of this. Uh, great, uh, great pack. I didn't download everything from it because I tried to not use too many assets. Um, but I thought this was pretty cool. I was looking for like a rural uh, train station. Um, yeah, so I like that. Looks like it's getting lots of use. And now we're getting cars. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ban left turns here. So let's force all the cars to take a right. I think that might be nice. Because then it would lessen the clog that we have going on. So it looks like there's a train coming. And this train is frozen, and it's kind of freezing everything up. So that kind of tells me that some of the nodes are a bit funky. Yeah, there we go. So I think what we need to do is delete this node. Oh, there we go. Let's delete that node and this node. There's a node there for some reason, that's weird. Okay, and let's just, uh, ooh, there was a note there, okay. Delete that one. I'm just gonna pull this out. Yeah, that should be fine. If we go into node controller, we can actually just square the nodes off. And it does make it look a little bit nicer. But yeah, we'll see if this works or not. Uh, we may need to revise the plan and put the, the um, grain station on this side. So, you know, we'll let it go. Um, and we didn't zone anything in, so we'll zone up all this with residential, because that was the plan anyways. Um, and let's turn zoning off of this road here. And this one, and this one. So I don't really want uh, zoning on these roads. It's a bit of a node issue over here. So let's fix that. Let's pause the game, make it a middle node. There we go. And let's just tweak that. So here we have a dedicated left. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I think it could work out as long as... Like, we kind of, we're kind of splitting some of the, like, uh, some of the traffic. I think what, maybe what we can do is we can actually check that out. And if we go into here, and we select, say, this road... Okay, I think I'm glitching a couple things out okay pause the game turn off this pedestrians see trucks so they're coming from over here or they're going that way I guess and into the farm so it looks like looks like the farm is kind of using this station so perhaps it might be better to move it on this side I don't think we're gonna build up Jefferson, Jeff, Jefferson farm this week so let me know what you think and I'll see your comments and we can probably move it if uh, it doesn't work, but looking at this train, um, looks like things are doing pretty good. Uh, we definitely need to detail out this yard. I think we can do that in the future, but um, we're getting this town kind of grown up. That's really nice. It's just going to be a really small little town here. And I think we'll get a couple of commercial buildings and whatnot. Oh, you know what? I didn't make this, this town name, so before we do that, I think we'll just probably just have to leave that for tomorrow when we come back to this area. So we need to make this town over here. This is going to also include this area. 
if that uh, that was industry area, Stephen. All right, we'll delete all of this. All of that we can delete because we need a normal district. So this whole area into here. So um, I got a great name suggestion in the comments for a town with a, a similar of a similar situation as this one. And um, I think we'll probably extend it into over here as well, uh, down the line. But uh, thank you very much for the suggestion of the name. So uh, we're going to call it Brownsville Crossing. So sorry for naming the town so late in the episode. But uh, yeah, so we'll make a couple themes for it. We'll um, make it uh, European Suburbia, actually. And um, we will have tax relief for low density and uh, schools out. Um, anything else? Yeah, we need to put in another district theme. We're going to put in... Uh, farming and I guess we can try organic and local produce as well so we're just gonna let this all come in and uh, tomorrow we'll kind of finish up Brownsville Crossing good little break into the grid um, but yeah uh, but yeah okay so this turned out pretty nicely so I hope you had a great day folks and we'll talk to you oh you know what I don't really like that let's go oh yeah let's do this view uh, we'll talk to you in, next time on Friday where, where we will continue to build up Brownsville Crossing. And yeah, have a great day. Peace out.